Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the car. Uh, today we have a question from a YouTube comment by Obina, who was asking about my uh, progression as an engineer and if I've always been aware of my growth uh, or if it's something that just sort of happened because I was curious about stuff and went here and there as a result of curiosity. Um, I hope I understand the question correctly. Thank you very much for asking about this, Obina. Um, I'm going to try to answer it the way I understand it. So I think the short answer is that I'm never really aware of how I'm growing at any given moment. Uh, it's more something that I'm able to look at afterwards and sort of retroactively identify like, oh, you know, when I was working on this or that thing last year, um, I grew in this or that way. I, I find I need a bit of uh, time separation to be able to to do that type of introspection. Um, I think that's fairly common, but at the same time, I also think it is definitely possible to get better at this and have a more, you know, synchronous introspective process where you can look at yourself and um, understand wh how you're growing right now or how you're trying to grow at least. But I have to say it's something I'm not super good at. Um, and I'd like to be good at it, but I think I need to do some more structured practice of it if, if I want to actually get good. Um, but that's for myself. But, but when I look at other people, I find it a lot easier. So, um, for example, if, if somebody's been working on Serenity OS for a couple of months, uh, I usually find it quite easy to uh, identify sort of their progress and how they're growing as a Serenity OS developer, um, because I have a sort of a, a feeling about their level of domain knowledge um, and how it's progressing and so on. So I do I do find it easier to um, to gauge progression and growth in other people. But again, I, I think that's also fairly common. Um, but more generally, I think. Um, my progression as an engineer has been, um, one of ebbs and flows or like peaks and valleys, I would say. Um, I've had a lot of periods where I, um, I'm in some new environment and I'm absorbing a lot of things and I'm confused, but it's a healthy confusion because I'm sort of making my way through it and learning new concepts and new code bases or, or frameworks or whatever. And then eventually I break through all the confusion and I, I get to this, um, I don't know, like a plateau almost because the confusion stops, but so does the, um, the growth. And then it sort of uh, flats out a, a bit uh, and it feels good when you start to flatten out. But um, at the same time, you are not learning as much anymore. Now you're just sort of... Um, enjoying the fruits of, of pushing through that confusion. And at least that's how my life has been. Like it's been a um, alternating sequence of, of like pushing through confusion to learn new things and then coasting on having learned those things. And I've gone through many, many of these, um, of these iterations at this point. And I think, at least for me, that's been a very healthy way to grow. Um, I think I need both of those types of periods because if I if I were to be confused all the time, I would get um, eventually I would just get frustrated, and uh, the frustration would get to me, and I would not be productive. And uh, likewise, if I were to stay in the uh, coasting period for too long, when I know how everything works, and uh, I'm just sort of doing tasks within an environment that I understand really well. Um, that becomes draining after a while too, because it's, it's not stimulating or it's not challenging enough, um, to keep doing it forever. So, um, alternating between those two, I, th I think has been sort of my growth strategy. And, um, I don't want to pretend that it's been a conscious growth strategy. It's just sort of what I've done naturally. And, um, I guess intuitively, I just fell into this pattern and it's, it's been working well for me. Um, and I think the same thing could probably work for anybody. Um, I would imagine because 
whenever I work with people who are, uh, you know, less experienced than I am, I, I see that um, pushing somebody into a little bit of confusion so that they have to um, step up and, and like learn some new concepts and familiarize themselves with something unfamiliar. Um, then once they actually rise to the challenge and, and push through that and reach that point where you can start coasting, um, I can see very clearly that they've grown, right? So even though I can't see that in myself when I'm performing the same process, um, I see it very clearly in other people. So I guess some examples of, of this would be um, every time that I've been switching between jobs, for example, um, it, what usually happened was that at one job, I would sort of um, learn a bunch of new stuff when I started and then get to the point where, okay, I know, I know the tech stack here. You know, I know the, the things that we're working with. I have a good understanding of everything. Now I can for, perform tasks and um, I perform tasks for a while and everything's hunky dory, but eventually um, I start to feel that uh, stagnation or, um, you know, like I'm, I'm not uh, growing anymore. And I want to get back into that spurt mode, growth spurt mode. Um, and some jobs that I've had have been able to uh, accommodate that. Uh, I think um, bigger companies tend to make it easier to, they, they tend to do it like a, a more conscious job of, of trying to grow their employees. Whereas in smaller shops, uh, that was typically harder because um, when you're working in a smaller shop, uh, the margins are tighter and, you know, you have customers who, who uh, have things that they want delivered as soon as possible. So um, at least in my experience, small shops tend to be more about like, uh, you want to bring up a new employee so he can be productive and then let him be productive. And uh, there's less thought and less effort put into um, accommodating this sort of zigzag um, confusion coasting pattern. But, you know, I've only worked in, in so many places, so I don't know. I don't know every, um, every workplace in the world. I'm sure that there are many small shops where they are, you know, more conscious about promoting employee growth and things like that. And, um, my recommendation for anybody who's stuck in either one of these modes right now uh, whether you are confused constantly or feel like you're coasting for too long, uh, if your place of employment does not um, does not really accommodate you switching between those two things and, and you do feel like you've been stuck in one or the other for too long, uh, it might be time to look for something different. Um, and yeah, I guess I guess that's sort of how my my growth has worked out. Um, and it's a bit different now, of course, because now I'm self-employed and I'm working within, um, within a project where I am, um, at least so far, the main expert on the most parts of it, I would say. Um, but you know, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't stay that way forever. I, I like it when other people, um, become experts and... Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to watch somebody else become an expert at something that you started. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's one of those really beautiful feelings in life that are so hard to describe. Um, but, um, but, but like in this, in this context where I operate now, I have to look for other ways to alternate between confusion and coasting, but I still find ways, you know, I, I um, navigate the vast amount of tasks within the Serenity OS project. Uh, I still find ways to challenge myself. Like, um, like lately, I've been challenging myself uh, and pushing through the confusion of CSS layout because I want to improve CSS layout in our browser. Um, but eventually I'm going to get a little tired of that and then I'll want to fall back on something where I am much more comfortable and I can, you know, work on something that I have um, a stronger internal understanding of already so I can relax in that way and so on. 
um, yeah, so, you know, I, I said that I wanted to have a more, um, conscious, introspective process, and I, I guess this just gave me an opportunity to, to have a little bit of that, so I thank you for the opportunity, Obina, and, uh, thank you to everybody for listening in while I process this, um, really appreciate the question, and, um, I think that'll be my answer for the day, so, uh, thank you all very much for, for listening in, for, for checking out the video. If you have any questions or, or topic suggestions for Car Talk, please leave a comment and uh, we'll get to them. Um, yeah, that's it. See you all next time. Bye.